morning and welcome to another video. It's been a while. I managed to get a day off today, so I thought we'd do a video. Uh, we're going to go to Huddersfield with this next train that comes in now. It's just coming in now, so I'll switch cameras and we'll film it coming in. So we're making, making an early start. So it's the 647 leaves Huddersfield stopping service. So we'll go right through Huddersfield with this train. Daily Bridge Stockport train because it's Saturday morning, of course. So that's what we've come to do. And then we're going to Chinley a bit later. I need to do another White Rose station update as well because I haven't done one of those for quite some time. The station is coming along quite well now. It's a lot to do, but uh, it's getting there. The next stop will be Morley. Coming up to Morley, which of course is the new station. speed is going to be increased here soon. At the moment it's only 55 I think. We well, made it to Huddersfield and we've just got off this train here. There's one in platform 6, which, uh, 5 rather, which is a 150. I thought we'd have got in platform 6 actually, but we didn't do. So, um, thanks to Bradford Interchange Service it's on 5. I thought it might have been a Wakefield or Castleford train, but it doesn't appear to be. Who's here? It's Felix. Hello, darling. Mm. It's a long while since we've managed to meet. How are we doing? Alright. Oh, not so bad. Taking everything in a stride. <laughs> Hello. Mm. How are you, darling? Mm. Oh. Lovely little pussy. Right, here's the rail tour. We're not getting on it, of course, but uh, I thought I'd film it. And just coming in on the opposite side is uh, our next train there to Staley Bridge. So we'll see this go out, and then we'll walk over and get on it. So it's a 47, which is now a 57, been re engined. I believe there's a steam engine going on this at some point later in the day. This is something else, isn't it? This is a, this is a proper train. Just look at that. Fine dining. Oh, it's gone right past the signal, hasn't it, actually? I thought it might not have done.
Christ, they cut all this vegetation down. It's really annoying. Now it's here, yeah, it's just uh, that's the platform. So that's the train we saw Huddersfield, a special. They're all having their brunch or breakfast or whatever. It's about 400 quid a ticket, I think, on that. Tunnel, just crossing that canal. And here we go into the tunnel now. Just over three miles. Right, it's coming into Staley Bridge, and there's some overhead wires here now. Look at this. The electrification has reached Staley Bridge. It's supposed to be a 156 on the Stockport service, so we'll soon find out if that is so. Five six four one nine. Eight thirty Stockport, a northern service. Love it. Stockport. Guide Bridge, Denton, Reddish South, and Stockport. Yeah! Announced it as well. Well done. So that's the one we just got off from Huddersfield. It's all stations to here and then straight into Piccadilly by Guide Bridge and the uh, GC. It's been quite a while since we've done this train. Quite a while. Not just sure how long it is, but uh, it's been some time. We'll get in the front carriage, shall we? It's a former uh, Anglia 156, isn't it, I think? It's got that sort of seating. Oh my word, there's a few on here. Well, we've managed to get to Staley Bridge in time to do this train, although I thought it was going to be a bit tight, but we've done it. And we'll be leaving very shortly. Okay, so let's do the one a week train to Stockport. Just left Staley Bridge, and we've got G on the signal for Guide Bridge. I think it's an A for Ashton and Devine. If you're going that way towards Victoria. Wired down here now. No, I don't think it is or not. Looks like it might be. Coming into Guide Bridge now, joining the main GC from Hadfield and Glossop. It's a shame it's been reduced to two platforms as Guide Bridge. Such a crying shame and a waste. So we're going to bear off to the left just after the station here. When it comes back, it still uses this platform in both directions. When it comes back, it's on here. Absolute messes guide bridge now. Oh, there's a nice little coal wagon there for you, or wooden bodied wagon, whatever. Right, heading off onto the rare piece of track now. Next stop's Denton. And there's the signal with the feather on it. It's hard to believe that one time this was actually quite common, about 30 odd years ago. Certainly pre-1989 it was. One turn an hour. It's a shuttle service. They've extended it at both ends, say uh, Huddersfield and Buxton. It'd be just fantastic, wouldn't it? 
Denson Junction box. And that is the line from Ashton Moss North that's just joined our route. somewhere here now. That's it there. That's the Hope Valley, which we'll go on a bit later. This is Reddish South now. Only one platform here. One the far side has been filled in. Let's see if anyone gets on here. <coughs> yes, just one gentleman. Dents and Reddish South are both Reddick stations as well, just steps. Not cool. Disused platform there. I think there were four platforms here at one time, many, many years ago. Right, so we'll get off at Stockport and then get on the train to Buxton for uh, New Mills, Newtown. But we'll have a bit of a time in Stockport first. Feather on that one, so we cross it over to the uh, up fast or up main. That's heat and Norris Junction signal box. It gets to be used, it's a thing, of, a thing from the 1960s, is that I think, or late 50s, when they first electrified this area. There's still a bus station down there now, I know. They've remodeled it. And, uh, we, we can get the Buxton train straight away, actually, very quick here, but also because actually it's been led to believe there's another rail tour, so we'll see if we can see that. Yeah, yeah Stockport Bay platform. I think when it used to run as a regular service, there's another bay platform over there which has been filled in. I seem to remember going over there years ago when I was a teenager. Right. So, arrived at Stockport. 
Right, there's a Buxton service very shortly, but as I say, I want to um, film a rail tour now. So there's another one. I think it's an in-city 125. I think it's coming through a platform three. It's not actually stopping here. So we'll see. That is going back to Staley Bridge at 9.04. So it's about, about six or seven minutes. That's this side now. So let's cross over to the other side. This is not our train. This is a service to Euston by crew. So we don't want this one, of course. I was in Buxton next, and um, there should be a special on the opposite side very shortly. I'm hoping this goes out in time for us to see it without us having to cross right to the far end. Let's get right round the end. Oh, there's a Buxton service there now coming into platform zero, but uh, obviously we can't get that. If we did, we'd, we'd have about three quarters of an hour to walk between the two new mill stations, so we're going to get the following train. And there's a Staley Bridge service heading back. Once a week, back to Staley Bridge. Oh, it's so, it's so overdue it for a regular service, is that? It so is. Right, that uh, London service has gone through, away from station so it's an unobstructed view across to platform three this is the blue pull when it's city one two five it's not supposed to be stopping here despite it going rather slow Very like the blue Pullmans of the uh, 1960s, doesn't it? Right, here's our next train for Buxton. We'll go as far as New Mills, Newtown, and walk over to Central. We've got about 15 to 20 minutes to do that. Fairly easy. So we've got 156 405 at the front. No idea what the other one will be. Grab my cup of tea. East Midlands, 156. Sit here, shall we, this time? They just live in Stockport. There's also another London service, Savanti. And in the south, that's where my Macclesfield now is, that one, in Stoke. Yeah, everybody, we're not on collision course, we're turning left. I'm sure 
accelerate a lot quicker than we will. towards Crew and Jadel Hume and they'll turn left at Jadel Hume. This is Hazel Grove. But we can't get a train on the new cord over to the Hope Valley, which is why we're on this train. Hazel Grove Chinley Direct is it doesn't happen very often. Not once or twice a day. Right, just leaving Hazel Grove now. We'll see the uh, switch back now with the new cord that they put in back in 1986. Because we sort of take that and then go back down to the main line in a way. So you'll see we'll veer off to the, as if we're up the cord now, and then we sort of go back down. You see how low down the other track is now down there. Tunnel, of course, that's on the main line where the Trans Pennine and East Midlands services go. Got off here once and we walked to New Mills Central. Right, this is New Mills, New Town. Let's get over to New Mills Central. The Sheffield train's already left Piccadilly. Right, walking across from New Mills, New Town to New Mills Central. About 15 minutes, I think, something like that, roughly. So, one thing I forgot today is my blinking hat. Feels a little strange without a hat, but anyway, we'll manage. There's a bridge over the river coming up here now. <coughs> I don't mean this little bit. I know, it's just dry, is that stagnant thing? This little bridge. Oh, this is so quaint. Now, I think this is the River Goit. I do. Looks like it's been repaired here, doesn't it? Modified. And judging by the crap that's uh, been caught up, it probably floods quite badly here. I bet. Anyway, let's get up to the station. Central station, that is. <coughs> Which is up here. Looking back down the hill, and here's New Mill Central. I need to actually bother recording the walk here. Oh, look at the siding, look. Let's get over the bridge. on that replacement buses on Haig Bar Road. Hmm. Just in case. I think about eight minutes it should be here. Right, here's our train to Sheffield. We're just going one stop to Chinley. Then we'll have a little look around Henschel's and see what we can buy there.
195120 on the local service to Sheffield. So just leaving New Mill Central now. Next stop is Chinley. to Chinley, so let's get over to Henschel's. As this train's heading off to Sheffield, three car unit, it was fairly well loaded. If that had been a two, we'd have been struggling getting on it. Right, tea on the green. Hopefully it's open. Right, went to tea on the green, had a nice breakfast there. Let's get down to Henschel's now and then over back to the train station. Go back via Sheffield and possibly Doncaster as well. Shame we're chippy in it open, but a bit early for that. We are. So where this blue canopy is here, that is Henschel's. F.H. Henschel's son. Right, here's our next train, an hour later than the one we got off at. So we'll get to Sheffield with this one. And then work our way back, possibly by Doncaster, we'll see. This is only a two car formation. So it's gonna be cozy, I think. This is E-Dale, a lot of passengers getting off here I think, yeah, could always walk. I don't getting on. Yeah, just leaving E-Dale, very busy little station in high summer. On the Hope Valley now proper, and we've uh, done this a few times but I thought still get a few shots here. It's just so fantastic is this railway. Busy train, Hope Valley local service. Anyway, let's get over to uh, platform one. I think it'll be now. I'll get the uh, get the Cleethorpe service to Doncaster. If we can. I think it's platform one. It is. It's quite a tight connection, is this one? It's only one unit as well. So we'll get this to Doncaster, two stops. 
and then uh, get another the hour service to Leeds if we can. Right, just leaving Sheffield. Sheffield Midlands as it was, of course. So we'll just go two stops to Doncaster with this train. There's a locomotive on the south cord at Doncaster. Which we have done years ago on a rail tour. Oh, 91 set. Sadly, we're not going to get one to Leeds. It'd be a, a zoom of it. It's only a short distance, he's done it to Leeds. <laughs> So, there's a 91 set just left there, look. Sad that that's not ours. Sheffield train just there. So we're on Leeds, 43 to Leeds. Oh, did that freight is going through. Oh no, there's a, an express going through. Oh, is that? I think it is. It's the locomotives that's going through. It's not a freight. So it's these two locomotives that are going through. I expected an express there. Not just two light engines. And there's another Trans Pennine service for Liverpool coming in. Top end of platform three. Oh, Manchester picking it up, that was Liverpool. Right, we'll get on this one to Leeds, sadly it's not a 91. Short distance. Eight hundred and one, one twelve. <clears throat> so it's quite a long elevated section is this so we'll get this straight straight to Leeds and then change for Cottingley hopefully That's the L and Y 
to Wayfield Kirgit, which is just down there. You can just see it, Kirgit Station. And there's a car that links the two. It's been single track for quite a few years. So coming in from Doncaster or Sandwater that we could only take either the through road or platform two, we can't cross over to platform one from this line, the down main. Only the up line just there gives you the choice of all three. But it's arriving into Leeds. The next train is cancelled, so we're gonna go for the bus back home to Cottingley. Right, so the next train's cancelled, so let's get the bus to Cotting there, not waiting an hour and a half. Right, because of the cancellation of that 1347, we're going to get the 52 home. Which well, should be here very shortly. On M7, that was. I got time to into markets now. side there's still there and still in use but the one on this side the exit slip road has gone or had been taken out of use from the 19th of june that's this year and i'd like to have actually ridden that again before it was taken out but i didn't unfortunately we filmed it so we should be coming off at the next junction i think if it's available if not we're doing the football diversion to the ring road available? Yes it is. So they'll be doing some work here for several weeks, months or so. trees down and slimming the roundabout down. We're going past Ellen Road Stadium shortly. Off that bus, there's some nice blackberries just there. Let's get across Hobber Cabin. So, due to that train being cancelled, and we've actually got home at virtually the same time, we're just leaving Leeds now, it should be. So, yeah, um, it's not been a bad day. I'm looking back fairly early, but uh, we've got things to do. So, yeah, I will see you next video. Cue music. Bye for now.